Yeah, you can. On the side of the highway, I made it all of about five, ten miles. It's vlog day one. Yeah, this is vlog day one. It's not going well already. No. <laughs> the topper window decided to fly open. I don't think we lost anything. So basically what's happening is uh, Caleb and I are venturing all the way down to Missouri to go fish a world class fishery, I would say. We got Caleb's boat, Caleb's F-150, repping that V8 life, also repping that V8 mileage. We're trying to get away from a storm that's coming, so we're leaving like a day ahead of time. I think we made it about 30 miles, so we got uh, all of 1,270 miles left. Dang, this is a waste. This is a long trip. It is 4.12 in the morning. We just got to a hotel room. So we ended up driving through the night. Uh, we were going to stop. You ended up driving through the night? I did. Fair enough. No, Caleb did most of the driving. I took over for the last hour. I'm tired. We're going to hit the hay. See you guys in the morning. How amped are you? All of the amps. 100 amps. Oh my god. Just about ready to head out of the hotel. We had breakfast. Breakfast was good. We got probably like four or five hours of sleep. We're both pretty stoked because we are going to fish the legendary Table Rock Lake here in Branson, Missouri. I've heard about this lake ever since I got into bass fishing. There's lots of bass and this is one of the unique fisheries where you have the opportunity of catching in the same day a smallmouth, a largemouth, and a spotted bass. This is basically a river that was dammed and it's huge. So it's gonna be tricky to find fish. Uh, we're gonna try to see if we can't work our magic sauce out here on uh, legendary Table Rock Lake. What are you doing? Don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna be honest. Well, at least you gave yourself enough room for the trailer. Good grief. What do I do? Beach closed ramp open. Hold on. Private vehicles, $5. Folks, welcome to Table Rock. <laughs> this kid's already on his phone, gaming it up. We made it. I'm gonna go check out the landing quick before we launch. Dang, I know exactly what kind of boats these guys are using down here because these are some nice trailers. <laughs> Jaggets, first come, first serve. Well, let's see it. There we go. <laughs> Bro, look at how clear that is. What? Bro, I bet you there's a bass hanging out underneath this dock. Bro, look at the dog too. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, this is so good. This looks so good. This looks so juicy. We are on Table Rock Lake, boys. Ready? Oh, I'm ready. Alrighty, let's give her. Oh! Oh! Yeah, it is. Over by the rocks it is, or? I can feel the water, the air temp. Oh, the air temp. Oh my gosh, I can gas this thing a country mile. How deep are we? Uh, 46. Are we still 40? Yeah. Jeez. Okay, we gotta be in like, at least 30 here. 31. Are you serious? Can we find a cold? I'm thinking cold. This is just kinda, this is a little too much work. Dude, look how good that looks. How deep now? 25, that's way better. That's crazy, bro. Look at how, the sh how far the shoreline's come up. 
So it must be low tide right now, huh? Or low water? It's high about a foot of the I think the uh the estimator is so good. Yeah. <laughs> we're also fishing way deeper. And the boat control is kinda hard. Go over to the spot that we were trying to fish. This was just that yeah, this was a spot that we just casually saw and was like, hey, maybe there's something there. Trees, bro. This is much better, we're in 30 feet here. A jig would be a really good idea right now. Yeah, we'll tie a jig on. Flip and pitch a bit. Black and blue or El Natural? Oh, just... bro, I had one. Did you actually? Dang, it was in his mouth. And he was swimming with it, that's how I was Dang. like. Come on, baby, come back. Oh. I got something. I got a rock! Oh my god! <laughs> That's what we came here for! <laughs> what the actual heck? <laughs> it's a mounter. I brought a piece of table rock back. <laughs> Not nice. I'm honestly thinking they're on. Uh, we gotta find a I'm rock. I'm thinking they're. Yeah, we gotta find a uh, rock kind of out by the I have no freaking clue actually I don't want to fish deep though it's hard go to table rock I don't want to fish it it's too hard yeah I think there's something dumb oh, that's unfortunate that gone. Ah, ah. oh here yeah let's that might as well just spot lock it here oh and it's gone bro look at all them cypress trees <laughs> That's why he said don't throw a drop shot. <laughs> well, Ricky, you were right. You just break? Oh, that's your A-rig, ain't it? Yeah. No! How deep? How deep? 18 foot depth. Some of this has to be fire here. But no, we gotta fish the pre-spot. Because <laughs> why? Oh, Dave thought that was a good idea. That was rock. Oh, that looks good. I'm not even gonna lie. Ooh, I don't know what that was for. I don't know either. Oh! Got one! Got one! Got one. Yep. I can't get the net, I can't get the net. We're gonna boat flip them. Let's go! <laughs> Dude, they're in the creeks. <laughs> but! <laughs> right, everybody, grinded all day. Tiny spot. This is my first spot ever. We were fishing main lake stuff all day, and we were fishing coves and pockets and whatnot because we thought they were gonna be pushed up in there, but we went all the way back into this cove, casted all the way up into there. Oh. And apparently they've made it up in the creek. We're gonna let this guy go quick. Oh, check that out. Oh, oh that's awesome. Oh, there we go. So that was first fish of the trip. We have we've been trying all sorts of baits. We were so kindly gifted um, by a fellow corker and friend a whole box full of baits and lures and whatnot to try, and he gave us some suggestions on spots to try also. So shout out to you, Ricky. We really didn't think they were gonna be pushed up back into the creeks, but they were. That just came on this little red squareville crankbait. This is a booyah. Not sure much about it, but it's just a booyah crankbait. I had a dream about this, bro. This was gonna come in clutch. Oh, so we're gonna switch up everything we're doing here, and I think we're gonna try that. All right, well, let's get some bigger ones. That's my first spot ever. <laughs> Hey, maybe we should keep working back up in there, huh? Hammered that thing. Oh, oh, got another one, got another one, got another one, got another one. Oh, he came off, he came off, he came off. Dang it. Bro, they're up, they're stacked up on these walls, bro. That one was a bit bigger, I think. So I don't think it flows in here, but maybe it does. Maybe we have to look for current. Weak. Oh, I almost lost it, boys. Oh, really? Yep, got one. Net? Oh yeah, this one's big. This one's big, Caleb. Oh no, he's just fighting good. Another spot. Another spot. Another spot. Let's go! <laughs> oh, another fish of the day. Let's go! Let's go! About the same size. This one's oh, you got one? Oh, no. See you later. Sick. It's a fact spots like red square bills. I hear another dang waterfall, bro. 
I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I think if we find other um, little spots like this, but notice they're all spots. Like we haven't found any smallies or largies. Whoa, this is fifty meters of the water. Are you serious? Oh, it must be this warm water discharge here now. Caught a few fish here. We're gonna go hopefully find another creek channel like this and then find some more coves. We're gonna go try to find bigger and better. Stay tuned, stick with it. What's going on? Um, I well, can see that. That there is Dave's crankbait. And he's on a mission. Let me get out of the way in case yeah, that thing just decides to yeah. come crashing down. Oh, it's up there a ways, ain't it? That's what I'm saying. I don't think you're getting it. Well, I'm just saying if it go if it goes oh, in. Oh, your allergies. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's probably gonna suck. Hey, at least if you fall in, you'll you don't have to worry about hitting the rocks because it's like 10 feet deep right there. I'm nervous, bro. Really? Well, you get up here 15 feet in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I suppose. The camera doesn't do it justice at all how really? far you actually are, yeah. We're all so high up. Oh, he's got it. Okay, ready? Uh, yep, just throw it. It'll float, right? It'd be a shame if it didn't. <laughs> just jump in. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This, this kid. <laughs> Victorious. <laughs> I'm taking this crap off. I'm so sweaty. I feel like I have 50,000 spiders on me. Ooh, that was up there. <laughs> I know. It was. It's got to be up to that branch. And then yeah, 10 it's feet. Be another, it's got to be another. So it's five, 20 feet probably. 20 feet off the ground. 20 feet. Wow. <laughs> oh. You crapped on goes my. <laughs> there goes my spinner bait. Hold on. Hold on. Can I see it? Oh, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. It's right there. It's right there. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I gotta re-oil this reel tonight now. Well now we'll go work on this one over here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they don't give these things away. So now I know this line is incredibly weak. Alrighty folks, we are wrapping up day number one on Table Rock. We stayed out a little longer than we probably should have. We got boat lights on and uh, it's getting kind of dark. Didn't even go in today, so he didn't even eat lunch. The sun's going down three or four miles that way in the dark. So this ought to be interesting. This lake we don't really know and there's a ton of obstacles underwater. So this probably wasn't our smartest move. Hopefully we'll make it back in one piece. Okay, so one long and very wet boat ride. Uh, later, we made it back to the landing. Now we gotta put the boat on the trailer at night and I don't think we've done that before. Hey everyone, so we made it to the place that we are staying tonight. Way bougier than needed to be, but uh, this will work. Wow, you can barely see it. We are on the third floor. Super exciting stuff, I know. Uh, what room are we? So we're staying in kind of a timeshare type thing. This is a suite or whatever, so we got kind of a nice room to rig up rods and stuff. Closets, very nice. Oh, this is the bed. Oh god. <laughs> Seems legit. Seems legit. Like Cheez-Its? Oh my god, it is. Oh! <gasps> really? Bro. Are we supposed to do the dishes? I mean, that would be the nice thing to do, right? Oh! Those are a lot of DC units. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, and there's a creek. This is way fancier than we need, but it'll work nice, so. Alrighty, folks, so we have just finished up supper. We had some brats. We're dumping footage, taking care of all the stuff. One thing before I close out today's episode that I wanted to share with you guys um, and show was baits really made the day uh, worthwhile and eventful. Initial expectation of the bass getting ready to stage to uh, spawn was completely thrown out the window and they have already started moving up into these creek channels to start to spawn. And this was the lure that did us wonders today. This is a Booyah, it's a square bill crankbait. So we were throwing this in combination with, compared to this, this is a KVD 2.5 square bill, and this is the Booyah square bill. And I actually threw both of these today. And this color scheme 
outperformed this KVD significantly. I'm not sure why. This is like a pure red and it just did wonders. What I was throwing this all on was my cranking setup. Abu Garcia Aura SX. Most favorite, if not the most favorite reels I ever used and owned. It's paired on a Shields Outfitter 6.8 medium fast action rod. I went with some low vis mono. This is actually 12 pound. It's proving to work really well. Um, so this is just my cranking setup. Obviously this is in a 6.4. So this is a slower uh, gear ratio specifically so I can work these uh, baits a little slower. Square bill crank baits came in for the win today. I think that's probably what we're gonna see a lot of tomorrow also is a lot of hard bait action. So I'm gonna end off the video here because I think this video is getting long enough. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you guys enjoyed this, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that bell icon. Hopefully we'll have more Table Rock videos coming here uh, shortly. We're down here for, like I said, the next like three days. So the of the day was to uh, get out on Table Rock, explore the lake for the first time and I think we did that along with some success. So I would say today's mission would be a mission complete.